Class is the gateway to the Mercedes-Benz lineup and it's come a long way since its wedge-like shape of the late 90s. The A-Class is available in a range of diesel and petrol engines as well as the option to choose between a manual and an automatic transmission. Manual cars get a 6-speed gearbox and the automatics get either a 7-speed or 8-speed depending on which engine you go for. We're driving an A200D which is a 2-litre diesel with 150 brake horsepower and goes from 0 to 60 in 8.1 seconds. This newest generation of A-Class is longer and wider than the previous model, giving it a more streamlined look and also allowing for extra room for passengers inside. All models get a 180 degree reversing camera, heated seats and the class leading NBUX infotainment system, which allows the driver to use voice to control the sat nav, music choices, temperature and driving modes for a completely hands-free driving experience. The system will gradually learn your individual preferences over time and it even recognises different accents. How may I help you? Tell me a joke. Sorry, my engineers were Germans. Depending on which model you do go for, there is also the option for wireless charging, smartphone integration, ambient lighting and also augmented navigation. All of the cars also get cruise control, air conditioning, keyless go, autonomous braking and lane keeping assist to stop you veering across lanes. All of the cars also get attention assist, which is a system that monitors steering behaviour to identify and stop driving fatigue. In the back, there's more headroom and knee room for passengers, as well as two isofix points for baby seats, which notably are incredibly easy to access, no awkward covers or removable caps like you see in some other cars. There's charging points in the front and the rear, although they're all USB-C, so you're going to need an adapter if you're running anything other than a brand new iPhone. The boot is a lot easier to access than in the previous model, as the light cluster no longer gets in the way of the opening. At 360 litres, the capacity is slightly less than what you get in the Ford Focus or the VW Golf, but does expand considerably with the seats down. The seat configuration is a handy 40-20-40 split, which means you can still carry bigger items with the middle seat down whilst carrying four passengers. Up front, and depending on the model line you do choose, you'll either get standard comfort seats or sports seats, with some models offering memory seats with lumbar support. It's also a very nice car to drive. The steering is satisfyingly weighty, and both the manual and automatic gearboxes pull really well. Once it got going, the automatic engine in the A200D we drove was really nippy, but we did notice it was a bit loud and perhaps held onto lower gears for longer than it needed to. Parking in this car is also really easy, with the improved visibility and help of the reversing cameras. Overall, it's a very good drive and certainly a strong rival to the Audi A3 or BMW 1 series. To find out a bit more about the Mercedes-Benz A-Class, you can read our dedicated review over on our website, or you can get in touch with one of our leasing experts to see our current offers. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again in our next review.